Well, I guess, uh, first things first, I'm gonna clean out all this shit out of here so I can get in here and start tearing this bitch apart. Well, there we go, it's cleaned out enough now. Anybody need uh, seats for a 65 Buick Wildcat and a sill plate? Well, first thing I'm going to do is take these seats out because I've learned that uh, if you cut the door wires off before you take the seat out, it's kind of tough to do. So I'm going to get that done first and out of my way. I hate GM. They put these stupid Torx things on there to hold the seat belt in. And of course, the T45 is too small and the T50 is too big. So it must be a T47. And of course, I don't have one, but we made it work with a 45. The hell was GM think? Well, seats out. Got tons of goodies here. Ooh, batteries. Look at that. I think this is where I kept all my money. Right here in the floor. <laughs> Berkeley Honda. I've got my power seat plugged back in. <clears throat> See if it works. Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna go back first. So I can get to the bolts at the bottom. Alright. That should be enough. Well, there's seat two. I'm sweating like a hoe in church. But I gotta pop that clip off and the seat will come out more money and garbage fuck I'm gonna be rich after this well now I got the uh, front seats out now it's the back seats they're real easy you just push in here and then pull up and it'll come out then the back there's two bolts behind there and you undo those and then you pull it up and clips in the top and then she'll come right out well it turns out it's a lot easier to get that back seat out if you can get the doors open which I can't so I'm either gonna open the door or take the whole panel off I guess I gotta do that now well I got the door panel off and the seat out but I had to break the door panel because there's a bolt that comes in this way which I couldn't get to because there was a seat here and the access to the bolt was right here so I had to break that off, but maybe if I tear all that shit away, I can open the door. We're going to find out. Success! After some banging and prying, I got that son of a bitch open. I'm going to take it off and not close it again. And then, we work on this side. Well, there's door number two. Panel's off. I got that bolt out without any problem now. now I can start to... Ripping the carpet and the trim and everything out of here. Cutting it out. Well, I've got the carpet out. Got the headliner out. I got the plastic trim off. Most of the door panels off. I found myself a rubber band that's been molded into the floor. Sweet. And I guess I'll take all this rubber matting shit out. Insulation. And then uh, that door panel, this back, fabric stuff, seat belts, and then on to another part. Well, I've gone ahead and taken the entire interior out, except for the dash and the steering wheel. I've got all the doors off, got the trim around the doors off, got the front fenders off, and now I'm going to drain the gas tank. Now before you go working on your fuel system and taking these lines here off, you're going to want to take this little cover right there off of here and relieve the fuel system pressure. Now I usually use a screwdriver or something, but I got a knife handy so push it in there and push that little needle back until the fuel stops squirting out. So you can see that little needle in there. And then you should have no fuel pressure. Now obviously don't do it while it's running. And then you can go ahead and take your, your lines off. The big fat one right here is the feed line. 
and this one here is a return line. You can usually tell the difference because they're different sizes. Now this isn't isn't the same on all cars, but for these GM Buicks, they should be pretty much the same. And how I get these off is I put two screwdrivers in here in the little holes, and then I just pull it off. right off. No problem. And then I can have fun draining the gas and getting some more of that liquid gold. Now to figure out the relays it's pretty easy. You've got letters on the side there and on there the three, the four, and the five all connect. And you see that little line where it connects? You need the three and the five you want to connect because that's like a little switch that goes when power is applied to it. And you look on the back and you'll find pin 3 and pin 5 pin 3 and pin 5 and you just jump your wire that way. Simple as pie. Well now I'm siphoning the gas out of it. Take that big line off, put it in the can. Then you go find your relay and you wire it up and the gas should flow. You might have to turn the key on, I did. Then you just fill it up, siphon out all the gas. It's going to take a while because it's got a half a tank in it, but whatever. I probably got about 30 bucks worth of liquid gold out of that thing. Not bad.